Welcome to the channel, everybody. So it's that time again. Time for another weekly crystal opening. So right off the bat here, we're going to start out with nine of these holiday crystals. Um, I've actually gotten a decent amount of luck out of these on the other two accounts. So let's see what we can do on the main here. Okay, not seeing anything new. I do see one five star, plenty of three stars, a couple four stars, and that's it. Well, it's great for the ISO, and throws a couple more SIGs into a 5-star, so not bad whatsoever. I'll go ahead and take it. Definitely helps. So we have 12 of the Daily Crystals. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of those. A uh, couple Tier 5 Basics and some Tier 3 Alpha, and a little bit of Tier 5 CC. Eh, not bad. Definitely helps. I got some level up I need to do anyways. Okay, we'll have four more of these coming from the calendar, but these are the last three of the banquet crystals I have left so far. Uh, a few more six-star shards to add to the opening, some more gold for sure, and a bunch of six stones. Eh, don't have everybody at six-star at six 200, so, I mean, that always helps. Okay, let's get some of the small stuff out of the way. We've got seven premium hero crystals, obviously two and three stars, nothing big. Got a couple three-star crystals here and an ultimate crystal. And one questing crystal. Hey, at least we got two four-stars out of the little ones. Picked up one of the legendary crystals. Obviously, we only get one a week. Some tier three alpha. I will take that for sure. And team revives that adds to our revive count for Necropolis. So, okay, so I got 30 premium here crystals here. They're just kind of adding up at this point. Um, so I thought we'd just go for the ISO and the extra gold. So let's go ahead and just pop these out of the way real quick. Four star Nexus out of it. Okay, so we got through the 30, nothing exciting. We have the one four-star Nexus. We did pull one four-star additionally out of it. So total of two four-stars out of 30 crystals. Nothing big. Now I got five three-star crystals here. Again, not planning for anything notable, as expected. Okay, and then we got three four-stars here. Again, I don't expect anything new. There's not many four-stars I don't have. And just as we expected, but more ISO. Picked up two Grandmaster Crystals, another four-star Nexus, and one Cab Crystal. Did manage a four-star Relic this week. Uh, dupe on Mr. Sinister. Okay, so I got three five-star Crystals here. All dupes, but I know at least one of those. I know Loki's Max Sig. The other two shouldn't be. So I picked up four of these 2021 Cab Crystals. Nexus Crystals. Let's see what we can get out of them. Uh, four Star being the best. That's uh, kind of what I expected. Really didn't pick these up for these crystals anyway. So, you know, whatever we get out of them is bonus. All four stars across the board so far. One last one. Five Star Psycho Man being the best out of the four crystals. We'll take it again. More ISO. More SIG levels. Okay, let's go ahead and get these two four-star Nexuses out of the way that we just picked up. Again, ISO. Maybe some SIG levels. And not even SIG levels out of anybody there. We'll take some Mystic ISO. I don't think we picked up much of that today. Uh, but we can max out Adam Warlock without dropping SIG stones into him. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's another future max six uh, crystal there. Never a problem as far as that goes. Okay, I got two of the Gifted Guardians crystals here. Now I realize these have a chance of being seven stars, so I should probably save them to the end instead of doing the six star features at the end. But the, the drop rate of it being a seven star is so low, I figure it's better to save the features for the end. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way. We're just gonna rip the band-aid off on these. And two five stars definitely would not have been exciting to end things that way. So let's go over and try three featured six stars and see if maybe we can finally get werewolf by night. 
We have been looking for Werewolf by Night since we missed him in the arena. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. I'm going to go ahead and spin these out. Starting with the first one, we'll do a quick tap. Let's see if maybe we can pull it off. More SIG levels into Morbius, who we just recently got as a six star out of these crystals. Um, so I will take that. Oh, I guess that's the Awakening. I haven't sunk a uh, Awakening gem into it. So that makes it even better. And another one. That Kindred right off the bat would not be a bad addition. I still don't have him in the mix either. Are we really going to do back-to-back -back Morbiuses? Well, just put him up to Sig 40. Okay, again with this. Uh, let's see, like I said, Kindred would not be bad. I still don't have him... Photon would have been lovely. Strife is SIG levels and definitely not the werewolf by night we were looking for. Oh well, guys. Added Morbius. Uh, uh, out of three crystals, we got Morbius twice and we got uh, Strife once. Uh, so at least we got the Morbius Awakening out of that to go along with the seven-star Morbius we already have. So, I mean, all in all, not a bad week. A little bit of a lower end week, but we will step it up for next week. And I will see you guys back for the next one. I hope everybody has had a great day, a great night, and pulled a God-tier champion. Peace out.